Andy and today I will be showing you guys a poly gel removal video. This is not by requested or anything like that but I thought I might make a video on how you remove poly gel so let's go into it. <laughs> Don't know what that was but here are my nails. About a week of growth and they have grown like quite a lot and I decided I kind of don't really like these so I'm going to take them off. And this is hand sanitizer, hand sanitizer, not to whatever that was. But I do this to make sure my hands and nails are clean so yeah. So I'm going to take some toenail clippers and take off all of the bling. Which always kind of makes me sad because I like the bling and the, you just you just gotta cut them off. But <laughs> then I'm going to use those to take off the length. And I'm very careful because I still have my natural nail under there and I don't want to break it because that would hurt like heck. Okay. Woo! That one kind of flew across the room, but these actually look really cool whenever you cut them. It's like layers. But now I'm going to take my nail drill and a medium grit safety bit and a arbor band, which I don't end up using, but <laughs> whatever. But I'm going to take the medium grit safety bit. I think this is medium grit. I don't know what the red is. I think it's like medium slash fine. And I'm just going to take down the bulk of it, like the apex and the thickness and all that. Until I get to a thin layer, and then I did that to the rest of the nails. <laughs> I tried to make a slip noise. So halfway through, I decided to switch the drill bits because the medium grit wasn't working, so I went to a more coarser bit. And then after I had all of those done, and there's nail dust everywhere. Okay. Yeah, I hate that, but after I cleaned all that up, I tried to take the um, fine gridded arbor band and it just wasn't working. So I went to a more coarser, or like the coarsest arbor band, and it still was not working. It was vibrating like crazy. I didn't like it at all. So since that wasn't working, I decided to go to the medium grit safety bit again. And under these nails, I actually had a thin layer of builder gel because I tried to preserve my natural nails, but I ended up shortening them later. And then I took the rest of like the excess poly gel that was surrounding my nails and I tried to be really careful. I didn't break them because I didn't want them to like be short, but I ended up short them anyways because I had rips or cracks on my nails, whatever you want to call them. So I decided to shorten them and make them round because they were probably going to break anyways. <laughs> So after that, I'm going to do a little bit of cuticle work. Now I've had, uh, I think like one person ask, you know, like how do you like do the cuticle and stuff like that. So I decided why not put it in the video. So I'm going to push by my cuticles and that is not blood, it's paint. And I'm going to take a small uh, circular bit and just carefully work around the nails um, on a forward, sorry, reverse motion at first, the reverse thingy, whatever it's called. And I work on the left side of the nail and then I will switch it to the forward motion and work on the right side of the nail. So that way I push all the skin away from the nail plate. <laughs> and I kept this at normal speed so you guys would see how like gently I'm pressing and how I'm not going super fast. You don't want to do that because then you're just going to mess up your nails. Then I'm going to take some cuticle nippers, you can use cuticle nippers, scissors, whatever, and I'm going to trim just the dead skin. You don't want to cut, and this is out of focus, way to go, but um, you're just going to take off the like dead skin, not the living skin. And then I'm going to clean my nails off with some alcohol and my manicure brush, which I love doing because it makes them look so beautiful. And here they are after all of that. And here they are before and after. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was actually like a really fun video to film. I don't know why. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope this was helpful. Hope you learned something. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next one.